Have you ever looked around you and thought, what is wrong with the world today? Why are we plagued with so many social problems in the world, especially in South Africa? It just seems to be getting increasingly worse and more complicated to address. We know that the HIV AIDS pandemic has had an enormous effect on family structures and has resulted in increased numbers of orphans and child-headed households. But there's also another issue. In South Africa, only about a third of children have daily contact with their biological fathers. This might be a hint of at least one other contributing factor to explain the state of our society and all the social challenges that we're facing in South Africa today. In 2018, only 36% of children in South Africa lived with their biological fathers in the same household. And even then, involvement and quality caregiving is not guaranteed. Plus, a father who lives in the same household as his children is not necessarily an actively involved, loving father. But on the other hand, an absent father is not necessarily an unloving or uncaring father. But the fact remains that healthy families have been the building blocks of helping societies for centuries all over the world. And therefore, it is of great importance that emphasis is placed on the crucial role that fathers play in the lives of their children. Fathers who are involved, living at home, can make an enormous difference in the lives of their children. Not only do they provide a sense of security and stability, but the way that they are with their children has an enormous impact on the way that these children will value and respect themselves later in their lives. Faction society will believe that families need fathers because children need the care and the love of both their parents. The general picture of positive fatherhood in South Africa is quite grim. We have the lowest marriage rate in the African continent, on the African continent. And additionally, only Namibia has a higher father absent rate than South Africa. To add to these very tragic figures, we are also acutely aware of the alarmingly high rate of child abuse and neglect by men in South Africa. The sad consequence of children with absent fathers is that it is one of several important factors that is closely related to weak educational outcomes, uh, antisocial behaviors, delinquency, and uh, disrupted employment later in the children's lives. And additionally, we see masses of young children, young fathers, young fathers who grew up without their fathers and who didn't have this privilege of receiving guidance from their fathers in terms of the roles and responsibilities of fathers and men in society. If we as a society are to address this shocking, shockingly alarming phenomenon, we have to make sure that we understand this phenomenon. Then. Why are these rates of uninvolvement so incredibly high? How big of a factor is poverty or unemployment? Do cultural norms maybe play a role? In the meanwhile, we feel strongly about the fact that this issue does, is not receiving the necessary attention that it deserves. The importance of involved and responsible caring fathers are too often underscored and underappreciated. We at Action Society are pained by, the, by this phenomenon and uh, therefore we really want to bring this into the spotlight. We are planning on prioritizing this issue and therefore we will delve deeper into the possible causes behind this phenomenon of fatherless or fractured families. Additionally, we want to explore causes of absent fathers and or uninvolved fathers, as well as investigate what the scope of impact is of this phenomenon on the South African society. And then we will hopefully be in a position we can find where we can find possible solutions and remedies together. And why do we want to do this? Because we at Action Society care about the children in our society. We care about our society and we sincerely believe that children need both their parents. Additionally, we want to eventually help find ideas and interventions in order to find ways in which families can be supported to flourish. We do believe that merely fathering a child does not turn a man into a father. Rather, being a father only is, a, is when a man becomes when he takes responsibility for his family and therefore you want to see families or fathers healed to take up responsibilities as fathers, to bring healing to fractured families, to eventually bring healing to our very broken South African society.